Okay. Hi, guys. Um, welcome to the Insider's Guide to SEM Rush with me, uh, Krista Tidman. Uh, so before we get started today, I wanted to let you all know that I'm so happy. Um, so not only am I happy all the time, kind of, um, but also because I found out today that we broke a thousand uh, attendees that registered. So thank you so much. You guys are awesome and never change. Um, so let's get into SEM Rush and all the different backlink tools that you can better utilize that are going to help you uh, with either prospecting, uh, what type of domains that you actually want to acquire, as well as SEM Rush. That's our bread and butter for competitive insight. Um, so you can finally know online what your competition is doing. Um, it's great to have that perspective. And let me show you today all the different areas and the tips and tricks that you can use for backlink building. Um, all right. And before, uh, real quick, before we get into that, I want to show you guys and let you um, in on something that's happening this Thursday. Uh, so me and my colleague, uh, Becky, we are starting a really exciting uh, new Facebook Live. And it's going to be focusing on, uh, it's going to be called, and it's going to be focusing on uh, digital marketing in general. Uh, but also, uh, besides just digital marketing, we are going to be talking about pop culture, uh, different areas of SEM Rush, as well as um, Focusing on, you know, what is going on with um, SEM Rush and, oops, sorry, this is being shown. One second, guys. I don't know why that is happening. That was on YouTube, my bad. Um, but, you know, technical difficulties happen. So let me share. Ha ha. There we go. Thanks, guys. This is why you guys are awesome, because you're chill. Um, so we're showing you right now, uh, basically, uh, two girls talking. We're going to be going over digital marketing in general, the industry, what's going on in the world, and hey, pop culture. So it's going to be a different type of Facebook Live for SEM Rush, but it's going to be a lot of fun, interesting, and you're going to want to tune in every Thursday. So the first one premieres this Thursday. The um, the 15th, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, sorry. Time flies, guys. <laughs> um, okay, so now let's get into the dashboard and let's discuss uh, the backlink tools. So the first portion that I want to get into when you're deciding um, not only where you are currently acquiring backlinks, what's going on with your backlink profile, we're going to start with the backlink section of SEM Rush. Now, I feel like you guys are going to be like, Krista, we already know uh, about the backlink section of SEM Rush, but I want to show you something that is oftenly overlooked. So today, I'm choosing Southwest uh, Airlines for the example that we're going to be utilizing uh, for the webinar. So I'm choosing kind of uh, airlines because, hey, it's spring. We have that spring fever now. And I want to travel. Definitely got that travel bug. Why wouldn't you want to? Um, so Southwest is going to be the example today. Um, inside of the overview section, uh, you might just think this is the same old, same overview. However, SEM Rush, we did revamp this page. It looks pretty awesome. And something else that a lot of our users, I notice, overlook, and even anyone that doesn't really, um, you know, dive into this section, is the competitor area. Um, so you can actually compare your domains um, and understand exactly, you know, where you rank stacked up next to each other for those different factors and those metrics. And so today I'm going to type in different airlines that would be competing with Southwest because they should know this. And you can compare up to five different domains inside of here. Um, and the last one I'll choose is Delta. So I'm going to press enter and compare. So what this shows me once I choose the domains, uh, exactly the different metrics that you saw before. So the total backlinks, the number of them, the referring domains, the referring IPs, domain score, page score, and trust score. 
So all of those different columns, now you can see stacked up next to each other exactly who is the clear winner. So you can see there with that lovely golden trophy, but hey, you want that trophy. So this is great for you to know exactly where you're stacking up and where are your competitors crushing you and that backlink uh, profile. So this is something that would be great for you. Besides just looking at uh, the different measurements right there and those metrics, you can also scroll down a little and we show you the total backlinks um, from all your different competitors and you on this little graph. Um, so you can see either in the past three months, one year, all time, exactly. Well, look at that. It looks like a roller coaster. Um, letting you know uh, what is going on with the backlinks you have had uh, month by month uh, the right now. But you can look at three months. Hey. And down below, the other portion I want to show you guys. Uh, so the backlink types, all the domains stacked up, and the follow versus no follow links. Um, and this was kind of uh, eye opening for me. So looking at this, it tells you, uh, you know, what is going on with those that percentage for the follow and no follow backlinks. And looking at that for Southwest, that's sad. Um, I can't believe, uh, you know, that 30% of those links are no follow for them. Uh, they want to share that link juice, you know, not cool. So this is good for they for Southwest to know. Um, anyone on that marketing team <laughs> conducting that SEO, so at least they know now. Really good. Um, so that's the other area that I really like that a lot of people overlook and they don't know that it's here. So really cool. Um, OK, so up top, that is where you get to it um, in the backlink analytic portion. So while we're talking about comparing backlinks, let's go into a tool that was what was used to be known as the domain versus domain tool, but now it's the gap analysis area. So that's that section. Same thing. Uh, it used to be called the domain versus domain, but now we have a section for backlink gap. So the keyword gap uh, was the commonly known uh basically a domain versus domain tool. Um, so view the backlink gap is kind of like the same thing, but just focusing on backlinks and finding those gaps. Um, so I'm going to plug in again those different competitors that I have that I want to understand where are those gaps um, exactly. Um, so we can specify that and choose the domains I want. So up to five again all together and hit that go button. So now we're viewing um, all together by referring domains. We're showing you exactly by the trust score. So that's how the metric is being ranked and looking at all four of us side by side, understanding how many backlinks you know I have uh, with the same referring domains as my competitors. But say I don't want to just look at this. I want to know where I'm missing the opportunities because that's the area that I really want to focus on. Hey, why not? So, so before, um, so after looking at where you stack up um, off the bat, let's look at the ones that you're missing opportunities. So I'm going to select my domain. So in, I'm not really Southwest, but for the example, I am. So what this does is it's showing me exactly by the trust score because that's how it's being measured. But in SEM Rush, remember everything. Well, for the most part, a lot of things uh, can be customized. Uh, so you can default and rank these different metrics by however you'd like. So I'm going to click on the matches because the matches are going to let you know um, from all of your different competitors, which ones are actually, what are they ranking for all three of my competitors rather than what am I ranking for or defaulting by the trust score? Because if I'm ranking it by the matches, I know, OK, all of my competitors have a backlink uh, with this domain. Why don't I? It looks kind of bad. Um, it's a missing opportunity for me. So it's going to rank it uh, originally by the trust score. But don't forget, you can default this to rank however you want. It is your world, and we're here for you at SEM Rush. So always, you know, decide however you want to rank it. But I like using matches um, just because now I can see United uh, American Airlines and Delta. Look at all these backlinks that they have uh, a lot uh, with these different domains. And I don't have any of Southwest. What is going on? Um, so that is a great way to see. 
and understand um, if all your competitors rank for them, you know, they currently have acquired those backlinks. Sorry, not rank, but they've acquired them. Um, they're sharing that link juice. Where's Southwest's link juice at this moment? Um, hopefully it'll be there soon. Okay. So really good to use this backlink gap. And something else at the top, uh, when you're deciding to compare them, uh, which ones, you can also choose by subdomain or URL. Uh, you don't have to use the root domain to compare. Our users always ask this, um, and it's a great question. I mean, I would want that if you're only, um, you know, focusing on a subdomain that you're enriching or, uh, you know, acquiring backlinks for. I get it. So it makes sense to see where you stack up in those different areas, those levels. Um, so subdomain URL as well. You just have to specify it up top. Okay. So that is an awesome section for you to utilize. Remember, you can always export this data too in SEMrush. But let's get into now that we went over figuring out where we're lacking. So we know now, oh my gosh, what are we doing? We need to start that link building. So don't worry, we have that in SEMrush, which I'm so happy about. Um, so the section focusing on that link building process is going to be in your projects. Um, so I currently uh, set up one for uh, Southwest, but let's go to it just to show you real quick what you do when you set up. Um, so a project, they're amazing. They're awesome. They're kind of my favorite part of SEM Rush. Do not tell anyone. Um, actually, you can tell everybody. <laughs> I like them a lot. Um, the reason why is look at all these tools you have that are going to focus in different areas um, in digital marketing as a whole for you. Um, so I think there's 13 or 12 tools in one project now. So cool. Um, so let's get started on this link building. Uh, the first section to set it up is you're going to want to type in up to 10 keywords that you want to earn higher rankings for. So in the next tab, I have one already set up and I wrote down, uh, you know, cheap flights, uh, cheap baggage, free check bag, Southwest. So I'll do again, maybe Southwest Airlines, just airlines. And you can add in more, just press enter um, and add it to your list. So now I have those seven. Uh, the reason why we do need it, um, we're letting you know that this is going to help us when determining, you know, what backlinks and prospects we're going to pull up for you, as well as those competitors. Don't forget, SEM Rush is like that life raft in a sea of competitors. You're not drowning with us. Um, so now I want to plug in those competitors of mine. So maybe I want to take some of those out. These were suggested organically because they had some of those common keywords with us. Uh, but maybe I just want to type in aa.com, um, Delta, and United. United. Oh, go. Where's that dot? Here we go. Okay. So now that's all in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can have up to 10. And I want to start it. Start that link building. Uh, so for the time being, I started one already for us with the same keywords and competitors. Um, so here we go. Link building. Um, once it uploads, it's going to show you defaulting by the prospects in the first section exactly, you know, how many we found for you. And we also divide them up in sources. Um, so as you can see, we have all prospects all together down below. Also organic search. So where we found them from that aspect, competitors, and I'll get on to what these are. Um, so before we look at those prospects down there, um, I wanted to let you know that this tool, um, there is uh, integration with Search Console. So always do it. And the reason why we say that is because we'll be sure to have all of the up-to-date backlinks. And we want to make sure um, because uh, basically a backlink, you know, it's like a vote for your website. So you want to be exact. And especially with reaching out, who wants to reach out to someone they already did? You don't want to be annoying. Hey, I get it with texting, but I'm not a triple texter, I swear. Um, so looking at this, um, after you connect it, um, you can understand um, looking at all those different prospects, uh, basically by the rating. So right now, all together, we're giving this a rating at a five out of five. 
Um, so we're ranking them by the quality, the accessibility, and also making sure that domain health is good because who wants those toxic backlinks? No one. Um, so now that I'm observing this, I can look at all those different areas. You can even go to those reports within um, those different areas. So I could actually click on that number and it takes me to um, you know, the backlink portion, the overview, the referring domains, and the keyword section. So organically, those search positions. Um, something else that I mean, a lot of people don't see, and sometimes I get it because it's kind of in the gray. So right down here, there's this drop down for source of the prospect. So what this is showing me, um, it's giving me that broad match based off of the keywords uh, that I plugged in in the, in the beginning. And it's showing me for this domain right now, um, what position they're in for those keywords. So that's what those numbers represent. Um, I know anyone could think it would mean maybe that's how many they have with that keyword, but no, it's the position they're in for that keyword right now, because that would be awesome for me as Southwest. Hey, cheap flights blog. Oh my God. I want to reach out to them. Um, and we should do maybe a, not a product review or a blog post or something about Southwest right now um, that's going on because this is the fever. This is the time for spring. Everyone wants to travel. Um, so that's a really cool section that is oftenly overlooked. So now you know those tips. Uh, besides looking at it uh, this way, you know, by all prospects, I always tell our users, you know, use that little filtering area because um, you could search by either the URL, a domain, or even say a niche or an industry that you're concerned with. Um, so for this example, you could do like cheap uh, baggage and look for those different prospects by that type of um, phrase. Say if you don't want to do that. We have other sections, how you can divide these different sources and filter them. So what we're looking at um, is all prospects, but a lot of people forget you can click on all these sections up here. So here is the organic search. So this is just solely searching through the organic search based off of the keywords that I plugged in, in the beginning. So who ranks for those keywords that I was concerned with and, um, you know, who has that content that would be familiar, that would be similar to mine. So this is a really cool area um, just to focus on that if you don't want to have everything all together. Also, the prospects, hey, those are the prospects that we plugged in and that currently have backlinks with some of these different uh, domains. So another good section for me to get that um, insight. Also, the mentions. So this is something that um, a lot of people actually didn't even know was here. Um, so do you remember that brand monitoring tool in SEMrush? Well, don't worry. We also have a mini brand monitoring tool inside of the link building. So that's what this is, um, which makes a lot of sense uh, because why wouldn't you want to know and search for those mentions that your domain has online where people are promoting you and talking about your product, a service that you sell, your brand name in general. Um, so I always want to tell our users, you know, take advantage of this. Um, it's going to help you find those prospects even more. Um, so what I would do here, uh, I would type in Southwest Airlines. And you can type in up to five keywords in this section. Um, a lot of users ask that and um, just want to tell you now. Um, so up to five and making sure because I wouldn't type in just Southwest because obviously, you know, it's kind of show me that area in the United States. Um, and I don't want that. I'm associating with this. So what is going on with Southwest? After typing in, you know, all the different variations up to five that I want, you can find those prospects um, and it'll take like only a few moments. And I did this before, so I already have it set up, but now I'm going to them. And these are, you know, the different mentions uh, that were talking about me on Southwest. So you can click on that little blue arrow and actually go to the page, you know, check it out um, and actually see. You know, where is it? Find it in here um, and make sure it's a positive mention and start that outreach, which is awesome within SEMrush. You can not only search and look for those prospects, but you can also start an email and begin that process of outreach. Um, so that is what I will do. So I'm going to choose a uh, product review. You also have other choices as well. 
um, what you want to use as that strategy. Um, so that is really awesome. Besides uh, looking through mentions and making sure you know you're aware of all of uh, what is being mentioned about your domain online, we have the manual upload. So this is another commonly asked question that a lot of our users uh, think isn't here. But guys, don't worry. We want to help you out at SEM Rush. So right here we have the manual upload. So if that domain isn't in here, plug it in. Um, so you can outreach within the tool. Uh, you just type it in and, you know, um, I could type in maybe YouTube. I really won't reach out to them. But, hey, type it in and add them. So once that happens, I'll add it to my prospects and I could do the same thing like earlier and reach out to them uh, like anyone else the same way. So now that we went over basically uh, outreaching and all the different areas that you can filter your prospects by, um, SEM Rush shows you the in progress section. So these are the backlinks I chose that I want to reach out to. Um, pretty cool. We also include the social media channels if we find them, uh, Facebook, Twitter accounts, and also the contact page for you, making it again easier for that link building process. Um, when I want to begin outreach and actually sending emails, I'm going to click on that little email option. It doesn't send it automatically, so don't worry. Um, it just looks like that. <laughs> um, so what this will have is exactly uh, what you should include. Obviously, my name's not Molly, um, and you can edit this and you know plug in whatever you want. This isn't um, going to be there. You know you can edit it however you like. So after you decided what you want inside of here, um, you can send that email. You can always add your own recipient. You know, you know who you want to reach out to, that contact. Pretty cool. We also find other people from the company. You cannot hide. Just kidding. Um, you're, but we found you. So, hey, um, so here we go. You could reach out to them, too. Um, something else that I like uh, is that these little areas, those placeholders, Aren't they pretty cool? So say you're sending a mass amount. You can only send 500 for the record. Um, but say you're sending like 20. I mean, that kind of gets annoying. Uh, the same old, same thing. However, the only difference is the domains you're reaching out to. Or maybe uh, the domains, maybe your clients. So you can click on those placeholders and you can add the URL of the prospect. Also, the domain of the prospect and easily put that in. So you would literally um, type in, you know, whatever the domain is, southwest.com. And when you want to say send or um, proceed to the next option, that would be right there. Um, but maybe I also want to also preview it. So right here, um, it's going to show you exactly what domain you wanted to plug in. Um, and you can edit this down the road, but it's going to help you out. Um, understand exactly what domains and making it easier for you. And that's what we want. Um, obviously, I wouldn't put it there, but I just wanted to show you um, wherever you put it, it's going to depend on when you click on those different areas. So really cool and always preview it. And hey, maybe even send the template. At the top, uh, before you want to send it, uh, just to let everyone know, uh, we only allow Gmail at the moment. Um, it's still, this tool is still expanding. So who knows? Uh, we could get other uh, different email platforms associated. Uh, but if you would like a suggestion, you know, always plug that in here because um, that does send to us and we definitely uh, take record and, you know, keep track of all of that. Um, but right now, just Gmail to send um, all those emails. Um, and last portion, sorry guys, I know I talk a lot sometimes, um, but the last section I just want to show you is right here, those little uh, bullet points that you can actually uh, keep track if it was opened, delivered, uh, that email. So you can really uh, get down to that nitty gritty of uh, email stalking. Um, so not stalking, but tracking, hey, you want to track. And also the monitoring, that's just, that's that other portion. Uh, you can monitor all those backlinks that you have acquired. Um, but that's why we also recommend connect that Google search console because we want to have all of your up-to-date backlinks, you know, all of it. So it's going to help you out in the end. Um, so I could always go to the law section and actually, hey, 
I could outreach to them within this tool. Um, so get it all done in SEM Rush because you know Search Console is like the sun in the SEO solar system, and Search knows everything. So why not let us have that insight to help you out? And remember, we're here for you at SEM Rush. We are like that fun, uh, great life raft that is going to help you out uh, down the road. So thank you guys. Um, this has been great. Um, so I see some questions. Um, okay. And what is going on? All right. Perfect. Um, hey guys, this will be quick. I swear. Uh, so the first question that I see, uh, someone asked, uh, does the email have to be Gmail? Yes, it does. Um, so it has to be Gmail at the moment. We're constantly expanding. Uh, I would put those suggestions in, in that section we were talking about. That would be great. And next question. Hey, guys, thank you again for attending this. You guys rock. Um, so, yes, this video, someone asked, will this video be uploaded after uh, it is finished? But, yes, it will. Um, automatically, all of these Facebook, um, YouTube Live, sorry, they are automatically posted after it is finished. So you guys will always have this. If you would upvote it, that'd be great. Um, maybe some nice comments. No mean ones, please. Um, thank you. And the last question, oh, was just how can you monitor them? And it was in the in progress section. So how can you monitor those back those emails that you're sending to acquire backlinks? And that is going to be in the in progress section of the link building tool. Uh, so you can understand if it was delivered, if they opened it. Uh, we're doing a lot for you at SEM Rush. We want to make sure that your day to day working in digital marketing is a lot easier for you. OK. And last question today, but don't worry, you can always email, reach out to SEM Rush. Uh, someone asked if there is a limit to the amount of backlink projects uh, you could do. So backlink projects. Uh, so we have two different tools in SEM Rush, uh, technically kind of three that focus in backlinks. Um, so it just depends on what subscription you have with SEM Rush about the limit of projects. So that's where you're gonna get you're gonna hit those limitations. Uh, so the pro has five, uh, the guru has fifty, and I'm pretty sure the business has five hundred. Um, you could also go to the uh, prices page, you know, check that out. Um, but that is another area that's where you're gonna find those limitations. So the backlink audit auditing those backlinks for you. That's a section in the projects. Uh, obviously, the link building, uh, so that's gonna help you out. And the last portion that, I th that I'm thinking uh, is definitely gonna help you out as well is the brand monitoring tool. So there's three sections in the projects that focus on that link building and monitoring as well as um, understanding uh, where you can find those prospects. Oh, OK. Hey. Um, hi, Max. Hey. So um, Max was asking, uh, he was wondering which uh, which offers, I guess, which tool offers the best backlink SEO juice. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So. So thinking about it, um, that's kind of a tough one. I feel like that would have to be, uh, you know, your own judgment call and also an SEM rush. Uh, besides uh, just having your own idea of which one you think would um, help you out with that link juice, which uh, backlink to acquire. Uh, but also, we have those different areas that are going to help you with determining, uh, you know, is that domain uh, creditable? Uh, what, how many backlinks do they currently have as well as uh, organic keywords, traffic to their website? Um, and you could view them on all different types of platforms. So we give you those different metrics for you to determine. Uh, is it going to have the best SEO juice for me? I can't say exactly. Um, how that is determined because I feel like everyone has their own perspective of that, but we give you the analytics and the data uh, to find out if they have that good link juice. Um, Cause Hey, everyone's thirsty for it. 
Um, <laughs> and that's why SDMrush is here. So um, I'm going to end this today, guys. Uh, but I wanted to let you know, you can see me Thursday live with my co-host and my bestie, Becky. Um, so we're going to be going over. Uh, we're going to be talking about the industry, digital marketing, and other fun things, pop culture maybe. Hey, um, so it's going to be a little bit different. Tune in this Thursday. Facebook Live, SEM Rushes, uh, for two girls talking. We're going to be chatting. It's going to be good. And I'm going to have another webinar. Uh, if you want to tweet me, let me know uh, what you guys think should the next uh, kind of toolkit that we could go over. Um, I always like getting ideas. Um, so if you guys want to, definitely send me out a tweet. Let me know uh, what type. So here is my Twitter page. Uh, let me get out of that. So it's Tidman Krista. So reach out to me, tweet at me guys, let me know what you think should be the next webinar for us. Um, and if you can't, hey, I love doing this, so I can definitely think of something fun to talk about uh, with SEM Rush. So you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday and um, I will see you soon. Bye guys, thank you.